Come on. Someone wants to meet you. <coughs> Why me? Oh, your jolly nature? Your engaging conversation? I don't know. It's the guy you stole the ring for. You must have impressed him. Who is he? He's Orion. One of the guys standing up against the Baron, sticking up for normal people like you and me. Well, me, anyway. <laughs> he speaks a lot of sense. Fucking rarity in this place. He's down here helping the poor sods who have the gloom. It's nice to see someone putting their money where their mouth is. And, um... Try not to be too, you know... You. <laughs> we need this. So. It's good that you came, Garrett. You're paying, aren't you? With what little I have, yes. Well, you've bought my attention for now, at least. Good. Please. Walk with me. Baron favors progress over pain. Metal and stone over flesh and blood. And look what has happened. I don't get involved in politics. Ah, yes. You pride yourself on being a loner. <sighs> Do you really think you have no stake in this? It works for me. But for how long? Garrett! Uh, Garrett, I'm slipping! Ah! This is your city, too? <clears throat> what happened? You passed out. Are you okay? I'm fine. What do you need from me? still known to exist. I'm told it lies hidden somewhere in the House of Blossoms. <sighs> that brothel is busy day and night with the rich and famous. Discretion is the key. I don't normally hold with stealing, but uh, in times like these... A man of politics stealing by proxy. Sounds about right. As right as a thief who steals for a good cause. I'll get you your book. You will be helping to secure a better future for everyone. I'll remember that. of Blossoms. I never went there, but I know someone who did. Aaron. You read the newspaper? They're saying the livestock coal worked. Worked for killing all the animals, I suppose. The glutes. Wish we could just cut down a lot of them. Good luck getting the administration. Bacon closed down all of 
a sudden, his bread was stale, but at least it was bread. Get away again! 